Which of these titans are here to protect us? And which of these titans are here to threaten us? a heck of a project to take on. <laughs> How did this come about? How did Godzilla come to you? Uh, I had just finished Krampus for Legendary and was taking a break and had dinner with Alex Garcia, uh, one of the execs there. And that's when he first mentioned that um, Gareth, unfortunately, was still preoccupied with Star Wars and wouldn't be returning, so he asked if I had any interest. And I think I said yes before we could finish asking the question. I can imagine. Yeah. So I take it you had a history with Godzilla. I did, yeah. Uh, he and I have been pretty good friends since the time I was old enough to walk. Wow. Yeah. That must be a dream come true. <laughs> it is, it is. I'm still waiting to wake up. <laughs> now with you, you're coming back. It's great to see you back in the... Yeah. What's changed for you? I, I, not only as for the character, but as an actor, what's changed for you with returning to Godzilla with King of the Monsters? From first one? Yeah. Uh, it's not big, big change. And I uh, still uh, spent an investigate of five years. And then uh, a lot of creature appeared in the, in the planet and uh, still chaos. And, but he, he also have the same feeling of the coexistence with the Titans. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he doesn't believe the Godzilla, he doesn't trust. But he something uh, gives some hope to protect the human. Yeah, it's a uh, Really complicated. Still. <laughs> yeah. Complicated is a good way to describe it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's an interesting thought. When you have a film like this where there's massive destruction on a global level, how do you find the balance of actually having hope and not just just, just depression, destruction everywhere? How do you manage to do that as a, as a filmmaker? Uh, I mean, it's tricky. Uh, but I feel like when you're up against such impossible odds, uh, you have to have hope. I mean, that's yeah. what the whole story is really about, you know, that even in the face of mass destruction brought about by giant monsters, uh, there's hope in humanity, uh, and there's hope that we'll be able to form some kind of a symbiotic relationship with Godzilla and potentially some of the other titans in order to survive it together. Who was the most difficult on set? Godzilla, Rodan? King Ghidorah. Oh, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's like three major divas <laughs> rolled into one. Yeah, we cannot you know? focus to the head. Where, 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 yeah. which? One's yeah. always bitching about something. Right. Figures. Yeah. Figures. Monster Zero. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got to say, obviously, the film, the first film, did well enough that people wanted more, wanted more to Godzilla, and there was a big complaint that we didn't see enough of him. Here we see a lot of a lot of the monsters. Was that something that went in for you beginning, or, or was that just a choice you wanted to make as a director? Uh, I mean, I actually really loved sort of that uh, restrained, slow burn approach that that Gareth took. Uh, I feel like we don't have enough movies that take that road. Um, you know, we live in an ADD culture, so I don't know if we can make Alien or Jaws in today's world. Um, but I feel like once you've taken that path, which they did with the 2014 film, we can't repeat that. Yeah. So it was a conscious choice to throw in more monsters. You gotta be kidding. 